Hello again, Power Platform people. Welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create and fill a Word document directly from Power Apps via a flow without having to use any premium actions whatsoever. So I will start by showing you a demonstration of what it does, and then I'll go into how it does it. So I have got this simple Power App here, and I will type my name in and sign it. Let's try that again. Okay, so I'll submit that, and then I've got a SharePoint folder here in which that document should land any moment. Let's just go and have a look if the flow is executing. The file has just turned up, so let's open that up. And there is our document. The date has been filled in, my name, and then my signature has been thrown in as well. So let's have a look at how it is done. So the first thing I've done is created a Word document with my template in it effectively. Um, here's the three fields and Notice that the fields are quite particular. I've given them some kind of unique identifier, date one, two, three, four, five, to make it easy to find. When you put in your unique identifier, make sure that you have it all in lowercase or all in uppercase. I'll explain why in a moment, but um, it just makes it easier to find later on. And then down here, I have just put a signature box which is just a PNG that just says Sigbox in it. So I just made that in paint. And I actually made that image the same dimensions as um, my Power Apps input box, um, just to make things a bit simpler. So that's all I did in there, those three fields, one, two, and the image. So you might not realize this, but if I copy this Word document and rename it to .zip, you'll find that Word documents are actually zip files. And if we go into here, there's a couple of interesting folders. Let's go into the Word folder. And then in here, there is a media folder. So if we look at image one, that's the logo that I had at the top of the page. And image two is that signature box. So that's the first thing. And then if we look at document.xml, if I just pull it out to here, and then edit that in Notepad++. This is an XML representation of that document. So if I search for name one, two, three, four, five. Here we can see it here. And we've also probably got date one, two, three, four, five somewhere there. Now, if this was, if I had an uppercase D at the start of that, this wouldn't be there. It, there would be another field over here that just said D in it or something like that. And then this would just say eight, one, two, three, four, five. So keep it all lowercase and we should be okay. So let's move on the next step. So in my SharePoint document library, I have got a folder called template, in which I have uploaded the entire contents of that zip file. If we go into here, we can see media, image one and image two. And that is our signature box. And that is the logo. So the aim is that we want to replace that image two and we also want to use the get file content action to grab the content of this document.xml. Then I've got another folder called output, which is just a copy of this template. We're going to keep overwriting parts of that. So then I've got a completed docs folder, which is where that example just landed. So let's have a look at the flow.
So the first thing the flow does is grabs the file content of document.xml from the template folder. Then we just do a simple replace action. Let's get this stuff in Notepad++ so we can see it. Does a replace action on the trigger that was the trigger that came through. Sorry, it replaces the output of the get file content, searches for name one, two, three, four, five, and replaces it with the trigger action that came through. So we've got name, date, and image. The same thing is done on the date, but the date is using the outputs of the replaced name. And the image is slightly different. Let's have a look at that. I'll explain why it looks like that in a moment. So if we go into the run history and have a look at the inputs, we've got the name, the date, and the image. If we show the raw outputs, as we can see, this has got a um, double quote embedded inside the text, and then it's got this data, image, PNG, base64, and a comma. So what we're doing is doing a JSON on the trigger body to get rid of the uh, escaped quotes. And then I'm just replacing data, image, PNG, base64, comma, with nothing. So that just puts it back to a pure base64 text. So let's carry on going through the flow. So now we've got our image, um, and then we go to a create file action. So then I'm creating the document XML in this output stroke word directory, calling it document XML, and I'm using the outputs of the replace date. So we're writing new XML into this output folder and replacing just document.xml. As you can see, that folder, that um, file was updated seven minutes ago, while well, the others are much older. So we then go to create image file, and this uses a base64 to binary expression, and just uses the outputs of that IMG base64 action. And then we go into, and this is really the secret source that makes this work, we go into this create zip step. I've done a whole separate video on this create zip, which you can check out. Um, and this is basically going to take all of this folder and create a zip file from it. Um, I've been aware of this word um, zip file situation for a while, and I've been trying to find a way to get Power Automate to manipulate that. And the manipulation is easy, but zipping it up proved to be more difficult. But now this part is solved. I'm not going to go into masses of detail here because there's a whole separate video on it. Um, but the important steps are that we download the zip file that is created for us. And then I'm just creating a Word document in our completed docs folder. And I'm just using the UTC now.docx. You would probably use a file name in production that made a bit more sense. And then we use that base64 to binary again to write the content that we've got back from SharePoint that gave us our zip file. So, um, well, that is all there is to it, really. Let's give it one more go because I just enjoy doing it. Um, let's clear that out. And we will type. Um, Pull this time, and let's just do yay. Power my writing's not very good come back over to here, and then we should see our completed docs. Hopefully in a few moments, we will get a new document in here um, with the output. 
there we go. It's pretty good, isn't it? So hopefully you can now give that a go yourself. Essentially this create zip part is the most complicated, but if you go to my blog, which I will leave a description for in the link below, there is a whole video and blog post that shows you how to create these zip files quite quickly. Um, and once you've done it, you'll see that it's actually quite easy to do. I thought I also ought to quickly show you how this um, Power App submits to Power Automate. On this submit button, it runs the flow fill word document from Power Apps and supplies it with the three parameters. That's the text um, input dot text, the date picker selected date, and then the pen image has is wrapped in a JSON expression, pen input one dot image include binary data. And that is all you need to supply. So um, try, have a go. Do let me know how you get on because I'm quite interested to see how people will use this. And this could be taken much further. I'm going to have a play with that word XML to see if I can get some more advanced actions done like repeating content and repeating content with images. Um, so hopefully this opens the door to some more possibilities with word files. The other thing is, is that word files are limited to 10 meg and I've given it, given it a little play and you can go over the 10 meg limit using this method. So best of luck. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.